yes, there was a time when I had three kids under the age of three and was homeschooling my older two um, in first and kindergarten and or whatever grades you want to call people. And I can totally relate to that. I, especially like now that I know I have ADHD, I'm like, oh, no wonder I was so frustrated because it was like adding this like chaotic little kink into like my very organized routine, you know? But our kids definitely pick up on our frustrations. And um, unfortunately, preschool children, especially, well, also teenagers, they're very similar as I've had older kids. Teenagers are preschoolers, there's a lot, they're a lot alike. But um, they don't really care sometimes if it's good attention or negative attention. They just want your attention. So they can pick up on the fact that you're frustrated, but they know that they're going to get attention. And so they keep pushing your buttons to get that attention. Um, and so I found, you know, with, with my little ones to start off the day doing something special with them, like it's mommy and me time, we're going to do this puzzle together before mommy starts school with the big kids, you know, starting off the day, giving them that kind of love really just kind of sets the tone. Be careful of like sending them away if they're distracting. And I know that's so hard. <laughs> uh, trust me, because I get very easily distracted. Um, but you want them to feel like they're a part of everything that's happening. And so, you know, and I, I know some people are like, oh, my little ones, you know, they're getting so much because they're sitting here listening to these readings and those kind of things. They don't have to, but you want them to feel included. So, you know, having a special snack, that you're all eating and they're eating too. I love to use food as a way to distract them while I'm trying to read to them <laughs> or they're you know playing with their Legos or things or you're outside and they can kind of run around while you're reading something to you know let them know you really want them there um, and that you value them and what through this what you know what we're reading is super interesting and super important. I think sometimes ki little kids can feel like I'm not a part of things and that makes them want to seek your attention even more. Like, I don't want to be put in another room. I don't want to have something that's different. I want to be doing what everybody else is doing. You can have those expectations. Okay, we want you here, but this is what we expect. Um, and, it, and it does take progress. And it requires a lot of patience from everybody, right? I mean, that's one of like the amazing lessons of homeschooling is for older children to learn to be patient with the younger children um, and that kind of thing.